Ever since I was a child, the highlight of Rosh Hashanah has been the blowing of the shofar. But what exactly is so special about the shofar? What should we be thinking about when that loud blast pierces the air? The blast of the shofar is like a cry, a primal scream. When does one let out a cry? Either when he experiences pain, he gets cut, he breaks a leg, or he loses a loved one. Or when he experiences great joy, he wins the lottery, a birth of a child, or witnesses a moment of breathtaking oh God, awe. Oh Why? Why do we cry out during these moments? Normally we process things through the right side of our brain and articulate the experience with concrete words. Experiencing enormous sudden joy or pain overwhelms that side of our brain and goes straight to our core. There are no words to describe the intense feeling we just went through. The experience can't be contained by mere words. In a way, the scream is a pure, unadulterated expression of our true self. That's why when a baby cries out, it grabs everyone's attention because suddenly we're confronted with something very genuine and real. And that pierces through everything else that's going on. That is the power of the shofar. When that shofar blows on Rosh Hashanah, it's a moment that cannot be expressed with words. It's a moment that cuts through all of our external layers and touches our pure inner core, connecting us to our true inner self that yearns for greatness and meaning. We live in a world where people sometimes confuse their identity with what they identify with. They might identify themselves based on their job, their status, or their Instagram page. We get caught up with projecting a certain image, but deep down, we know this isn't who we really are. On Rosh Hashanah, the chauffeur pierces through those personas and enables us to reconnect to our true inner self. The word shofar comes from the Hebrew word leshaper, to improve. It's here to help us improve ourselves by reconnecting to who we really are. And you know what? If we're fortunate enough to connect to our soul, our core that yearns for purpose and meaning, that's when we truly feel alive. And that's the moment we ask God, Zachreinu Lechaim, remember us for life. Shana Tovah.